Dealing with bots and hackers, it's a big pain in the butt, especially for WordPress sites. In this case, we're going to use WP Login Lockdown, which is a WordPress plugin. So let me show you how right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you this plugin, and right now it's on a lifetime deal, so you might want to grab it. It starts off at $59 for the lifetime deal, and you can install up to five sites for that price. Now, if you need more websites, you can go ahead and jump to plan two, three for 50 or unlimited websites in this plan three. Like that would be the sweet spot if you ask me. There's white labeling and there's rebranding if you like this. So if you have clients that you want to install this in, you can rebrand it so it doesn't say WP Login Lockdown. So it's pretty cool, right? So you can make money with this. Now, before I show you how it actually works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. Now, if you leave a comment here in the description, I will be selecting one of the winners to win one of these codes to five sites just by commenting what you think about WP Login Lockdown. Thanks to our sponsor. Now, if you want to grab a shared hosting plan like the one I'm using, go into the link provided in the description, jump into hosting, web hosting, and you're going to be able to view all the plans available. In this case, the most popular one is business. So let's go ahead and select this one to show you the coupon code. So let's go ahead and add it to cart. And once you're here, it's going to ask you how many months you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, the lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, the price right now, it's $177 with 12 cents. But if you use my coupon code and apply it, which is SASMaster, it's going to drop to $159 with 41 cents. So use the coupon code if you plan to grab a short hosting plan. Now, to use WP Login Lockdown, all you have to do is install a plugin, activate the license that you're going to get from WP Login Lockdown, and this is going to be the panel. The first thing I would recommend that you set up is that you change the login link. The default login link is WP-admin, and you do want to change that because that would be the first place that someone is going to try to crack your site, hack it, bot, etc. from here. So go into advanced section here, login protection, advanced, and change this default login link. Do something that's different from admin, login, WP dot slash admin, any, nothing that has to do with login, do something personal. And this is a really good idea for all your sites, okay? Then you have your login URL. Again, you wanna change this, password check, test user passwords, anonymous activity login, but there's a lot of things that you wanna check in. Let's go into basic. Now, max login retries. Now by default, it's set to three. That might be a bit low, especially when you forget your password and you need to try a few times, or if you have several passwords and sometimes you forget, three might be a little bit too, too, too low, but I mean, it's going safe. If someone tries to reach your site and uses three times, it's going to be locked out for this amount of time. So you got 60 minutes length lockdown. Okay. And the retry period is every five minutes. So I set it up to 10 in this case, but I mean, that's a whole lot. You wouldn't need as much. Then you got your login field attempts with non-existing usernames. So that means if they try, let's just say that you're not using admin as your username. And if they try to use admin automatically, boom, it's going to be locked out. Okay. So if you want to activate that, go ahead and do so. Max login error. So it doesn't say if it's an error block type, you can see here completely blocked from website access or only block the login page. So if it's someone who's trying to hack your site, I mean, you definitely want to just block them for the whole site. But if you if your site is a membership site, if it's something where people need to log in, you don't want to block them completely. OK, the block message, the whitelist IPs. If you want to whitelist your IP, that's a good idea. Show credit link if that's what you want to use. And for example, protected by save changes once you have everything ready. That's for the basic settings. Those are the things that I would recommend. Obviously, go into advanced, go into tools and set everything up, read everything carefully and set up what you really need. Then you got your activity. You're going to be able to view all activity here from lockdowns, failed logins. So you need to know what's going on. Maybe a lot of people are trying to hack your site. You need to take care of that. Maybe you want to block some IPs that you're going to view here. Then you got your firewall. So this is included here. So you got block bad bots. So if they are known for being bad bots, this is going to take care of it. So there's a list of bad bots that they have available on their database, and it's going to automatically block them. Direct to trust voters law, HTTP response splitting. These are more security things that you want to activate. Go ahead and activate them. Test your site make sure that everything's working fine. If not, deactivate as not needed. Okay. 
Then you have your two-factor authentication. Great idea. One of the safest ways to keep your site. You got your CAPTCHA if you want to enable that. So you got your CAPTCHA disabled in this case. Built-in CAPTCHA, which is eh, pretty simple. Recaptcha v2. This will require a, a key for to activate this. Recaptcha v3, which is what's newest. And this is really, really good. The Cloudflare turnstile. It's practically free and it's super easy to implement. CAPTCHA site key and CAPTCHA secret key. So you got all these options to use here. In this case, if you don't want to go through any setup of API keys, use built-in CAPTCHA, which is pretty simple. I mean, straightforward. Doesn't work as great, but it's available there. Cloud protection. Again, check out these settings and enable and disable what you don't need. You can country block. So for example, let's just say that your website is only in the United States and you don't care about any other country or you just don't want to have traffic from certain countries that are frequently known for trying to hack sites, etc. You can do so here. OK, then you got your design for the login design. So in this case, I have activated this one and I'll show you in a bit. Once I log out, you can change your logo, URL, logo width, height, etc. The form in this case, the fields, the buttons, the background and custom CSS to make it completely customizable. Now, this is a great idea, especially when you're building sites for clients. You might want to change the login look so it doesn't look so plain. It looks nicer. In this case, you can do so this way. Temporary access. If you need to create a temporary access, for example, a developer in this case, you can do so. And you got your license information there. Now, let me go ahead and log out just to show you how this is going to look. Here we go. Here's my customized look. It doesn't look like the normal WordPress login. And I can go ahead and change all of this, add my logo colors and all that good stuff and come back in once I'm ready. So it's super easy to use. And like I said, right now it's on a lifetime deal. So if you want to check that out, the link we provided in the description. And if you plan to grab your shared hosting plan, do use my coupon code and it gives you an extra discount. But there you go. That is WP Lock-In Lockdown. That's a wrap.